Hi, this is Matt from Family Blogway. I'm just going to talk you through the latest beta testing of the new Moz Analytics. Um, so I've just had access this morning just to have a little look around and see some of the new features. So I'm just going to give a brief overview of what you can expect. <clears throat> so I'm just in one of my campaigns that I work on for one of my uh, clients. And <clears throat> what we've got here, very similar to the original Moz um, kind of features on the left hand side. We have social, search, uh, links, brands and mentions. With some of these there's still some features that we're waiting to kind of see back from. So just starting with the search overview, you can instantly see there's a really nice interface that's been integrated here. And I think what Moz have been doing is using a lot of the existing metrics they have and just really displaying them a lot better and a lot easier. So you can have almost like a nice overview dashboard that's a lot more user friendly than the previous one. Um, you can have a quick overview of organic visits on a weekly view, um, all the keywords that are going through, branded keyword percentage versus non-branded keyword visits, um, the kind of quick graphs and stuff. So you could kind of pull off some of these. There isn't actually <clears throat> a feature at the moment that's kind of export to PDF, but I'm assuming that they're going to have this in the future. Um, another really cool thing was that they've got, obviously you've got all your keyword rankings, but based on where they're positioned uh, in the SERPs, which is pretty good, and you can kind of see how many non-branded keywords um, are showing up. But also what they have here is they've got keyword opportunities. So maybe you're not tracking some keywords within the search engines that actually is bringing in a lot of traffic. For example, this keyword on a weekly basis is brought in 32 visits. What I can quickly do is press track and Moz Analytics will then <clears throat> add that keyword into my keyword list and start tracking its progress over time, which is a really handy feature. Um, so moving down, we've got the on-page optimization stuff, which is um, giving you some suggestions based on how you can further better the on-page optimization. So you can just quickly have a lot of a nicer interface to have an overview of things without having to go into stuff. <clears throat> Likewise, cool diagnostics, not showing any issues at the moment, um, but a great kind of dashboard. So now you can move into the finer details. So we can have a look at traffic from search, which again, much nicer interface quickly see loads more URLs from last week coming into the search engines, a rise in keywords, sending organic search visits, visits themselves from organic search in general have risen. Um, and you can see that over time, you can have a look at different search engines, Google, have a look at some of the lesser known ones. Um, really nice kind of graphics that you can use and present back to your client or just for yourself having a really quick overview. Um, in fact, I'd probably go as far as saying this is a lot kind of easier than even looking at Google Analytics within some of your custom reports if you're just looking for an overview of things, um, which is great, really. <clears throat> and then you've got your keyword rankings, so pretty self-explanatory, um, where you're ranking in the search engines. So you've got the kind of um, top level overview of what keywords are being tracked, but also you can see how many are ranking in position 4 to 10, 1 to 3, 11 to 20. So actually what you can then say for your website is, right, I've got 23 keywords that I'm tracking that are position 51 or plus. Let's have a look and say, instead of saying, right, I know my metrics that are related to traffic. I want to see a rise in organic traffic, but also over a period of time, I want to get this number reduced, and um, and then I want to have kind of one of these numbers increased. So you can see a progression all the time without having to kind of total things up yourself, which can be a big time saver. Now on top of that, you can have a look at your keyword rankings um, based on kind of the past few days and then have a look at how many of those uh, keywords were ranking in which position during that time, <clears throat> which is great.
Uh, you can also go through, have a look at the other tabs. So like what you'd see, um, you can have all of the different keyword rankings across search engines you're tracking. A performance tab. So what's the bounce rate like on these keywords that are coming through? A very, very good stat for measuring conversion. Uh, see what kind of percentage change that's happened there. Versus competition, another really handy report that you can have a quick overview of. You can download these all as CSVs. Um, no PDF option, as I said before at the moment, but I would imagine that that's something that Moz is going to work on. Um, and then likewise, some keyword opportunities. So these are the keywords that I was talking about before that are sending through traffic to the site, but you're not actually tracking them. So you can have a look and kind of include those in. So then you've got the on-page optimization tab, um, which is always great for kind of finding little extra bits and bobs. So you've got the grade of your page. Um, I won't go into too much detail on this one because I'm sure if anyone uses Mars, you're familiar with it. But it's really handy for just quickly spotting if you've missed out some meta descriptions or you, you've not put one of your keywords in your title tag, etc., etc. So. <clears throat> And then another really nice overview shot of your crawl diagnostics, so you can see kind of <clears throat> any high priority stuff going on, uh, any high priority issues which are showing up here. So we've got loads of issues going on that we need to address. Um, and again, I think the big thing that I've found so far from my initial glance with Moz Analytics is that it's all about kind of a good UI and being able to spot things nice and quickly just going from the in-detail stuff through to the overview, you can instantly get everything that you want to see without really even having to kind of pin down and search through all the different areas like what's the case with the current Moz stuff. Now, another feature that I found really interesting um, was the social tab. Unfortunately, I haven't got this linked up to <clears throat> any of the social media pages of the client at the moment, but what you'll have is here you can see kind of traffic coming from Facebook and Twitter and Google Plus. Now, aside from Hootsuite, I don't really know many other integrated analytics tools that track your Google Plus and give good kind of analysis on it. Um, so this, when we have all the Facebook page, we'll have all the stats coming in. Um, so you can see here from the screenshot. You can have your weekly total reach, how many fans you gain, the kind of engagement on the site, how many shares on Facebook, likewise Twitter. Uh, you'll have the same kind of thing, interactions, shares, followers gained, and versus three of your competition. But like I said, this is the thing I'm really interested in, um, the Google Plus tracking. So you can see all the engagement on your Google Plus page, track three competitors, how many shares of your website and web pages have gone on Google Plus, so if you're a blog owner, that can be incredibly important um, <clears throat> and a great way to measure Google Plus, which there just isn't a huge amount of tools out there that you can actually measure Google Plus stuff with. Um, and then an overview of your most engaging posts that you can have a look at. So you see it, whether it's a tweet or a Facebook post or whether it's a share on Google Plus, and you can have a look at those interactions and pull off a nice report. Then another really great feature, the links overview, so monitoring all the links coming into your website. Um, you can have a lovely overview here of versus your competitors, so looking at the domain authority. So this to show to a client or just for your own person is incredibly useful. Show a nice progression, then we see kind of my client just over the past week matching up and coming in line with the top competitor uh, that we're trying to track at the moment. Um, so you can see how many established links there are at the moment on the site, uh, how many different linking root domains, if that's increased, which it has, which has been great. And more importantly, the traffic coming from your links. Okay, so you've built a load of these links and um, it's kind of improving your search engine rankings. Are you now bringing through actual referral traffic from these links? And you can then see which links and sites themselves are bringing through good traffic. Top pages by page authority, another really nice little overview feature so we can see which of our pages have most kind of internal and external 
links, or should I say the highest quality internal and external links, uh, coming through to them so we can see which one of our pages are our authority pages. Likewise, we can see kind of our top links coming into the website here. So there's the nice little overview. And now we can dig a bit deeper into the links. So we've got a nice kind of overview here uh, showing kind of weekly progress or um, if you haven't done so well, then you can have a look and address that. Also, we can have a good look at our inbound links that we've got coming in. Um, you can also have a look at the linking root domains that we've got. So we can have a good look through all of the link profile, anchor text, top pages by page authority, and all of these can be exported as a CSV within Open Site Explorer. The next tab is keyword opportunities, or sorry, link opportunities, um, which is still kind of in the process. I'm really excited to kind of see what's going to go on here um, because that could be a really handy tool for you to discover and find new opportunities. So we'll be staying tuned to see kind of what goes on there. Um, another nice overview here of the competitive link metrics, so we can see exactly how we shape up to our competitors and a variety of different metrics. So have a look at the different followed links in comparison, our uh, Moz rank, Moz trust, total linking, root domains, how many followed links we have versus non-followed, and you can have a good overview there. Um, one thing I would like to see is maybe a nice little PDF download button here so that I can kind of compile that and show it to my client. But as I said, hopefully that's coming soon. And if Moz are watching, if it's not coming soon, please reconsider that. <laughs> um, here we've got the history over time of you and your competitors in terms of your link metrics. So you can see the progression of your, uh, your SEO campaign and have a little look through the Moz Trust, the Excel followed links, etc. So you've got a nice historical view of all the data. And lastly is the brand and mentions, which Again, this is still uh, in progress. I'm assuming that this is going to be integrating Fresh Web Explorer into the Moz Analytics toolset. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of Fresh Web Explorer. Um, it, I don't find that it ever really offers me much value from there, and I don't ever really get any great data from it. More than willing to be proved wrong on that, though, so hopefully we'll see a way that Moz can maybe display Fresh Web Explorer in analytics that can offer a bit more value, especially for the smaller businesses, um, which, which should be great. So that's the overview of the new Moz analytics. As I kind of have a play around with it a bit more, I'll be able to kind of get more information and share that with you guys. But up until now, um, check it out if you're a beta user, and I'm sure it'll be rolled out soon to all of the Moz users over the next kind of few months. Okay, thanks for watching.